Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the BlackBerry Key 2. Now this phone will be available for pre-order on June 29th, and it's gonna hit the US on July 13th. First things first, let's run through the specs. Now let's start off with the most important spec, the price. The BlackBerry Key 2 is gonna run you 650 bucks. Now keep this in mind, this is not a kitty phone. I, this ain't the Snapchat phone, it's not the Instagram phone, it's not the Fortnite phone, this ain't the phone that you're gonna connect to your virtual reality goggles. This is a serious phone for serious people. Now if you're serious about your business, 650 bucks, that's a small price to pay for the most secure Android phone on the planet, period. Now the phone comes in two colors, black or silver. Now for the display, you got a 4.5 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution of 1080 by 1620. Now that's 434 for y'all PPI savages and it does feature Corning Gorilla Glass 3. Now for the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 with the Adreno 512 GPU. Now it's running Android 8.1 Optimus Prime fresh out of the box. Now you get six gigs of RAM with either 64 or 128 gigs worth of storage and you do have a micro SD card slot for expandable memory up to 256 gigs. Now you got a non-removable 3,500 milliamp battery that features quick charge 3.0. Now for the cameras, on the rear you got a dual camera setup. So two 12 megapixel cameras, one is f1.8, the other one is f2.6. On the front you got an eight megapixel camera, that's f2.0. Now, of course, you got your fingerprint sensor, you got Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, you got a headphone jack, that's important these days, but most importantly, you got that iconic BlackBerry keyboard. Now, BlackBerry claims that this keyboard is 20% bigger than the Key 1. All right, so let's unbox this and see what it is. Shout out to White Shoes back in the building. BlackBerry Key 2. Now, this is the 6 gig, 64 gigs uh, worth of storage version. Same specs that I just went through, you can pause that and read it for yourself. All right, here we go. Nice looking presentation, 650 bucks, it is what it is. Inside, whew, now look at that. Whew. Call me old school if you want, but I love a brand new Blackberry. All right, there's nothing like that feeling of pulling out a brand new Blackberry. It just feels like business. All right, let's get the stick off of it. Rah! Look at the back of this. Let me do the smell test. Whew. Smells like quality. All right, white shoes, you're killing me. Let's see what else we get in the box. Okay. Now, got your SIM ejection tool. That's underneath there. Right there. Got your usual books and shit. Pluck them. File them to the side. Okay, check this out. Now, you get some BlackBerry headphones. Little BlackBerry insignias on that. I like that. Extra set of earbuds, I like that too. Let's see, you got your play and pause, volume up and down, quality headphones. Blackberry branded, fast charging brick. Now let's make sure this is USB type C. Bingo, USB type C. All right, so far Blackberry doing it right. Let's get this stick off the front. Rah! Whew, look at this. Now there's your eight megapixel camera in the front, speaker grill. Look at that keyboard. Oh, we gonna go crazy with this one. On the side, you got your convenience button. Now they moved it from the other side, which I'm glad they did. Convenience button, you got your power button, volume up and down. On the bottom, you got dual speaker grills. I'm pretty sure it's one speaker, but dual speaker grills, that just makes it look nice. USB type C. There's your SIM tray on the other side. Headphone jack. All right, you got a little sensor. Dual uh, 12 megapixel cameras on the rear with the flash. Now, just for size comparison, here's the BlackBerry Key 1. All right, so they look very similar. Both of them have that beautiful textured back. But now you got dual cameras instead of single camera. All the buttons on one side instead of having uh, one stranded button on the left. And the keyboard does look a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm gonna pause the video, I'll drop my information in, and then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, I'm downloading all my apps in the background, and so far, fresh out of the box, I'm definitely feeling this phone. 
Now, I know what a lot of y'all going to say. Blackberry's dead. Nobody got time for keyboards anymore. It is what it is. I'm going into this with an open mind. Now, I said the same thing about the key one. I used the keyboard for about three days straight, and then I rage quit because it was a little bit too hard for me to type because I got fat fingers. Now, with this one, the keyboard is 20% bigger, and once you start using it, you're going to feel the difference immediately. Now, if you had a BlackBerry Bold 9900, the best BlackBerry that ever came out, this is the same keyboard. All right, so the learning curve is going to be there, but we're just going to go into it with an open mind. First things first, let's talk about the build quality. The build quality on this phone is excellent. Now, if you compare this to the original BlackBerry Key One, this one is a little bit lighter. Now, personally, I like my phones to be a little bit heavier, but it is what it is. Nowadays, everybody want a lighter phone. This is definitely it. Now, you got that aluminum frame, or as they say in the UK, aluminium. All right, that aluminium frame, it feels so good in the hands. Ladies, you know the procedures. Now, there's a couple of different ways to open up the phone. You can double tap on the screen, swipe up, and put your pin in. Bong, just like that, you in your phone. Or you can use the fingerprint sensor, which is embedded into the space bar. Now, the fingerprint sensor, nice and fast. Haven't had any stutters yet. I wouldn't say it's the fastest in the world, but you see for yourself. You touch it, and it opens right up. Now, let's breeze through the OS. Now, I don't know if I said at the beginning, uh, convenience key or power key. I know y'all YouTube correction officers, y'all can't wait to get me. Stop typing. All right, this is the power key on the original key one. So now all the keys are on one side on the key two. So your power key has the ridges in it. So if you got your phone in your pocket, you can easily differentiate between volume up and down, your convenience key, and your power button. Now, I got it set that every time I turn it on, you get a different wallpaper. You can turn it off if you want. Opens up nice and fast. Speaking of convenience key, Samsung, pay attention. This is how you do it. Convenience key that you could remap and put to whatever you want. So now when I hit my convenience key, I got my flight track app set up, and I got my phone for the World Star Hip Hop button. Now, when I do the full review, I'll have everything all set up, and we'll go through the convenience key a little bit deeper. And speaking of convenience key, you got a new key on this BlackBerry. You got a shortcut key. Now, let me show you how that works. Say I'm on YouTube, and I'm just chilling. Let's edit out of this. Uh, say I'm on YouTube chilling, and I want to take it straight to the gram. All I got to do is hit that button, press I, and I'm right in the gram. Now, you can customize that to long presses or short presses. So, basically, two different functions for each key. That's pretty dope. Now, like I said, when I do the full review, I have this all set up. You got your on-screen buttons. One thing I wish is that the on-screen buttons would have disappeared so you have a little bit more screen real estate, but it is what it is. So say I open up YouTube, hit the uh, recently used apps, got all my recently used apps as big giant windows. All right, instead of just little panels, you got the full window. Take it back over to the gram. Let's see how many likes I got on my photo. Okay, 6,000 likes, I'm doing it big. I'm a celebrity. Let's keep it moving. All right, let's well, let's check out the toggles. I know, I'm trolling. Now, for your toggles, you got the basic toggles. You got your flashlight, inverted colors, mobile hotspot. You can rearrange these if you want. Now, I got the phone on max brightness, like a typical scumbag, but that's how I roll. You see, you got your Android 8. So, you see how your notifications look? All of the nice colors on the bottom. Definitely feeling that. All right, let's check out the speakers. Let's take it over to, uh, let's go over to, let's take it over to Bike Life. Let's put the speakers on max volume. And we'll see what this looks like. Any day now, all right, YouTube is trolling me in this video. Here we go, all right, here we go. Let's take a look at the display. 1080p display, like I said, this is not the media phone, this ain't the Snapchat phone, but you can watch your videos, it sounds loud, you got one speaker coming out the bottom, so one bottom firing speaker, we'll check the viewing angles out in the sun, so far so good, alright, let's take it over to the settings, see if we got anything different, alright, uh, connected devices, all right, so you got NFC, you got screencast, you can use this to print your documents. Let's go to shortcuts and gestures. All right, so you got keyboard shortcuts. All right, we're going to set these all up now. As you can see, I got one set for Instagram. That's the one I just showed y'all. Let's see, uh, you can customize your convenience key. Let's see, quick launch the camera. 
All right, press the power button twice. Let's try that. This is the world star button. Double tap right to the camera. Now, speaking of camera, speaking of camera, the camera on this phone is actually pretty decent. Check this out. I'm going to show y'all a picture I just took. Look at the white shoes right there. Beautiful clarity on this. Now, the last thing you think about when you think of a BlackBerry phone is a banging camera, but this camera looks pretty good. We're going to put it to the test. This might be the best uh, BlackBerry camera I've seen yet. Dual cameras, so you got your portrait mode on deck. We'll see what that looks like. Let's take. Let's get back into the settings. Where was we? All right, shortcuts and gestures. All right, so double tap to awake the screen. Three finger for privacy shade. I right, swipe down using three fingers. Okay, let's uh, skip that intro. Privacy shade. All right, now what is that? Let's exit out of this. <laughs> I know I'm getting notifications. Y'all stop trolling me, y'all. Hold up, hold up. All right, my bad, y'all. Now, I never used privacy shade before, but I already love this, and y'all gonna love this too. Fellas, pay attention. Now, check this out. This is how privacy shade works. Say I'm at my desk, and I'm on Instagram, checking out all the buns, doing my scumbag tactics. Now, here comes that nosy coworker over your shoulder. Grab your three fingers, swipe down real quick, and that activates the privacy shade. Now, you can make this more transparent or less transparent. You can fully customize it. I can still keep scrolling and nobody knows what I'm doing, then I can just exit right out of that. That is a major go. That's some thought protection right there. All right, let's take it over to the web browser. Let's see how fast this loads up uh, sites. Let's go to uh, Apple. Let's go to the full website. All right, loads up nice and fast. This is the full website with all the pictures. That's pretty dope. Now, most importantly, let's try the keyboard out. So I'll take it over to notes. We'll start a new note. We'll do the usual uh, test phrase. I will do test. Okay, that was good so far. No tags, tags, no. Enter. And now let's type a note. Now, if you notice, you can use on-screen keys, but like I said, we're going into this full throttle with an open mind. We're using the keyboard for a week straight. So let's try the phrase. All right, my bad, y'all. I had to take a phone call. All right, so we're gonna try the old school type and phrase. Now I'm not gonna use on-screen keys and I'm not gonna look to see if I make any mistakes. Here we go. The quick, brown, fox, jumped over the lazy dogs. All right, let's see, did I make any mistakes? Perfect. Now, like I said, I'm going into this full throttle. I'm going to use this keyboard all day, every day. If y'all watch my old school videos, y'all know I was the man when it came to BlackBerry typing. I'm going to try to get that flow back. Now, of course, with this, you can use the swiping and the uh, flicking the letters. We'll figure out how to do all that, too. Overall, fresh out of the box, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm definitely feeling this. The build quality is amazing. The camera is up to date. This is the most secure Android phone in the market. The speaker's pretty good. The display could have been a little bit bigger, but it is what it is. Hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything y'all want me to cover when I do the full review. But y'all know how I do. I'm going to tear it apart. We're going to check battery life, multitasking. We're going to try to get it to lag. We're going to take some real photos and videos. Matter of fact, let's go to the camera. Let's check what kind of videos we could get on deck. Let's go to our settings. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, check this out. 4K up to 30 frames per second. So we're gonna get some real videos. Let's see, oh, m one of my most important features, mute sounds. For my clandestine photos, we're gonna get busy. All right, let's exit out of this. We'll reset everything and we'll start from scratch. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. All right, check this out. One more thing I wanted to show y'all. When you plug your charger in, watch what happens. Now you can charge only, you can put it in boost mode, and you get that nice animation. I like that. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Foxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed.
Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock won the beam up. Energize.